back to Cross Stitch the Globe. This is a channel about cross stitch. I'm Stephanie. I'm Allison. And today is one of our beginner tutorials. We call them Floss Tube University, which is the where you go on YouTube to find and learn about cross stitch. Um, we have three kinds of videos on our channel. So if you're a beginner, this is great for you. But if you're not a beginner, if you're one of our regular subscribers, we'd love you to stick around and leave in the comments any of your own tips or tricks on this topic. Leave your knowledge. Because um, we really love it when people leave extra information. And if you're yeah. new and you're here to learn, like, what is stranded floss, then you can go um, into the comments and see even more. Um, these come out on Thursdays. On Mondays, we alternate between floss tube episodes, which are deep dives very deep dives into our personal stitching where we go through like all of our works in progress. I was, I have all my works in progress here. You so I was going to show you but you have to wait till um, Monday. <laughs> uh, and like, you know, like what we finished and what our plans are, those are really fun. And we also talk a lot about other floss tube channels that to check out. And then in between we do extras, which are floss tube extras are deep dives into like one topic that we would like to talk about more like, um, our mid-year whip parade is coming up where we get out all of the things that we're working on, mm -hmm. even the things that haven't gotten touched this year. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I know, I was just thinking about that. How many do I have that are We're about to uh, record, start recording our free pattern series that has been requested by several people. So um, yeah, stick around, we'd love for you to subscribe. Yeah. All right, today's topic is what is stranded floss? And Allison, you've been stitching for so long, you might have forgotten when you first heard. I don't remember. Yeah. It. yeah. I do remember the first time that, that I kitted something up and I was ready to go. I think I did pull the whole thing out and try and stitch with it and thought, this is wrong. <laughs> Pretty quickly, you'll find out the whole thing is not what you use. So, so I was, okay, so. The reason that I was like, oh, we should definitely do this topic is because we make these beginner videos for people, like for everyone, but we 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 want to have a library of uh, videos for people who buy patterns from my Etsy shop in case they're like very new because a lot of patterns will just be like, this is how to cross stitch, but it's like one page on how to cross stitch and, and, and then but I, it's it's a lengthy yeah there are many steps but in there's between lots of little steps and, so we just yeah. want to answer one individual question mm -hmm. and um. When you helped me cut up my first project, mm -hmm. and uh, well, my first like modern, not a kit, yeah, not a kit project, mm -hmm. and um, it is funny to be like, okay, well, this is six strands, but I stitch with two strands, but some people stitch with one strand. Up here, some people stitch with three strands. What is going on? Mm -hmm. So if your pattern calls for mine, won't mine will call for specific brands, but if you are getting a pattern the calls for just stranded uh, floss or stranded cotton or just uses the word stranded. You're like, what is that? Today's video is for you. So whether you buy a fancy floss like this mm. or this is just a black DMC, like they come in skeins. skeins, the most common, well, maybe not the most common worldwide, but the most common where we are is DMC. Um, you will get it and you'll look at it. And if you come from a sewing background like I did, or like a knitting background or whatever. The idea, I'm like dropping it. The idea that you don't just go with what you pull off, right? So you, it comes like this, and you would think like you would just, yeah, you would just use it. Just go ahead and go. And it's that's not true because in the world of cross stitch, cross -stitch and embroidery, um, embroidery floss, cross stitch floss, we use stranded cotton and what that means, it, well, we use stranded floss. And what that means is the thing that you pull out of the skein, so I'll send him a skein. The thing that you actually like go to pull out of the skein has a number of, uh, has a number of strands in it. And the number that you, I should center this more. <laughs> and the number that you actually stitch with is determined by your pattern your fabric or personal preference. And it has, and you would not very often if, I mean, there are times, but it's very rare that you would stitch with all of the strands that come off at once. Now you might think that's so weird. Like why don't they just do it like thread in sewing or a yarn of knitting where it's one stranded. Why? Like why are we talking about strands at all? Why do you separate it? There are brands of cross stitch and embroidery floss that do come single stranded. 
uh, I'm, a lot of the like very fancy silk packs that come on spools or Vicki Clayton's um, silks or spools where it's just you pull one strand. Yeah. Um, I have a, a brand of, con of floss that I bought from Fiberlicious Shelby Fibers. This is a silk. And it actually comes in like, it doesn't come in like a single string like on a spool, but it comes like in kind of just a bunch, but they're all together. So mm. even though you could kind of say like this is a hundred strands, but really it's just a bunch of individual strands and they're not wound together in like little six or eight packs. Um, DMC, the most common one that most Americans use. Well, I don't know if that's true. The most common one to be called for in patterns when you're looking for a basic one, I don't know what their real market share is. Um, but they come in six strands and they invented that version. I don't know if they invented it. Like, I don't know if they have like the first stranded embroidered floss, but the version that they sell now that we use, um, they invented or they started selling in 1898. So this is not like a new thing. It's just if you're new to cross stitch, it might be like, this is different than these other fiber arts out there. Yeah, I know there's um, brands that come in five stranded. Yeah, so I don't, I don't have any five strands. I know. Well, all my DMC has six strands. Obviously, we have a million six strands. Yeah. Um, Gloriana silk comes in twelve strands, I believe, and I have a project with Gloriana on it. So then Karen Waterlily silk, I believe, comes with eight strands right. and Karen water lilies are commonly called for in like mirabilia patterns so that's where I use Karen I know people use Karen water lilies and other things but to me it's such a like mirabilia yeah. Nora Corbett thing that I'm like you can use it in other things even though people will pull it to do like monochromatic or singles like well you found it at a needlepoint store so it must be used oh it's used in a ton of things in my yeah. head it's like oh I have only bought it for mirabilia yeah. projects so, and Nora Corbett's projects but that I believe that comes with a strand so well, six stranded is the one that is the most common and a lot of like, um, again, I don't know percentage why, but it's the most common. It's the one you, that I have seen the most, um, over many projects and watching many hours of floss tube hearing people talk about cross stitch. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's the one where like DMC. In stores is the most. Available. Yeah. If you go to a craft store, most of them would buy, not from an LNS, but like not from a local needle workshop, but from a literal craft store, like a big box craft store is going to be six strands. Um, but I've seen eight and 12 and I'm sure any like configuration could exist up to at the point of where it becomes like too heavy to, yeah. to stay in one thing. But, um, so if you have a pattern, like I have bought long dog sampler patterns where it doesn't like prescribe any particular colors or flosses because it really, the idea is you really just go pick your own for that, like for these patterns, not every long dog, but for the ones I bought. But it does say like you need X amount of six stranded. And that means that you need that length of six strands, expecting you to take it down to one or two strands, depending on what you're doing what your rest with it. Is. So you can't just buy, like if it's if a pattern said you need eight meters of six stranded, then you need the whole DMC skein of six stranded. Even though when you pull out one or two to use, you'll actually get longer length, if that makes sense. Um, anything to add on this topic? I think we have, no, I don't think so. Um, so if you have a pattern and it doesn't call for a specific brand of floss and it just said you need X amount of six stranded floss, then great. If it says, um, an amount like a total length, but doesn't tell you of stranded floss, it just says like total, then you can take your skein if you're most likely using six, but if you do decide to go with something that has eight or 12, then you can do the math on that. Um, and we'll have future videos on kind of what brands of floss, um, are common and what brands of floss you can substitute if you wanted to do that. And then also a video on how to actually separate the strands because, um, I didn't know how to do that for my first project. It's trickier than you would think. It's so it's so easy once you know how to do it, but if you don't know how to do it, it's then you're confused, very annoying. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, subscribe if you want that video will come out in a couple weeks. And, um, other than that. Uh, if you made it to this point in the video, I forgot to do this on our last set of tutorials. Oh. If you made it to this point in the video, leave the little um, needle uh, with the like floss Red. in yeah. it. Yeah. Um, as our secret language that you made it this far. And if you're not subscribed, we would love to have you. And um, thanks so much. Thank you. Bye guys. Bye.